All right, what's up? It's Sila. Now it's been a while, but I've recently came across one of the um, most ridiculous exploit I've ever seen. It is actually quite broken and at the same time, sort of funny how this has become a thing. But anyways, um, this exploit is about controlling a dino remotely, or actually better said, it is about becoming a dino. You literally transfer your character into a dino and you control it for the rest of your game until you uh, reconnect to the server. That's basically how it works. Sounds simple enough, actually not really, but the process is actually quite complicated. So make sure you follow every single step accordingly, or else you will screw up and you will be unable to replicate this. Now, you need quite a few things. You need a sleeping bag, a cooking pot, you need a dino that you want to become. So. For this instance, I'll be becoming a Giga. Now, obviously, there has multiple use. I can't get sniped off a Giga. I can charge it to bases and a lot of stuff like that. You also need another dino that your Noglin can control. And obviously, you need a Noglin because why not? The most broken dino in the game. Right. So these are the dinos and structures you need. What you also need is you need spoiled meat and you need a note. So you just make a note. Now, first things first, you want to go to your cooking pot, put the notes and the spoil meat in. Now, I do not have crafting skill, so I'm making the most basic recipe. But if you want to, you can obviously make a better recipe using higher crafting skill. I can't be asked, so whatever. Right, simply make, you know, make a food that will kill you. So the easiest is simply 200 spoil meat that will kill basically anyone. I put this. Uh, Let's be back in. It'll start cooking. Right, you got your meat that will kill you. Now, if you want, you can also make another. This is uh, optional. This step is completely optional, but, but I'll make it. Just to show you guys, um, in case you guys want to do it, I can make another one. Right, so we have two of these things. Um, these burgers that will instantly kill us. Now, we have a Giga and we have a Stego. What we want to do is space them fairly apart. And then what you want to do is go up to the Stego and unclaim it. Make sure there are no turrets in range. Obviously, you'll get your ass killed by turrets if there are any. Um, stand as far as possible from the Noglin. And I'm going to turn off my GCM right now. So my GCM is off. Now, eat one of the burgers. So you can see your health should start to slowly drop. Now wait until you get to about half health, or if you have a really high health, then just wait until you get to about like 80 or 100 health left. Then you can continue doing what I am doing. Right, so we're just gonna wait for a slight bit. Now what you want to do later is you want to throw the Noglin so it controls the Stego, at the same time instantly mount the Giga. The way you know you succeeded is if the Giga, if your survivor is on top of the Giga after you controlled the Stego. Now we're just going to wait for a small bit. This should be alright. So this, I'm going to, again, double press F to throw your Noglet a bit high, make sure. And then instantly mount the Giga. I missed it, no worries. Let's try again. I missed it again. All right. All right, this is getting a bit embarrassed. All right, let me turn back to GCR. Um, we'll try to do it again. Uh, this time I'm going to move the Giga slightly closer to the Stego. Then again, I'm going to unclaim it. Turn my GCM off. And the burger should start killing me. Alright. Now this is what you want to do. Now, as you can see, I threw the Noglin at the same time I... Um, mounted the Giga. So right now, I can't actually move. I'm completely stuck, right? I'm pressing WASD key and Noglin's not moving. I can't control anything. So this is exactly what you want. So you want to be right here. 
um, you are controlling a dino yet you cannot move and your, and your survivor is stuck on the Giga. So all you want to do is do nothing, just wait. Just wait until your character dies. So make sure you're doing this in if you're raiding then in a tag bubble or whatever or in somewhere safe so you don't get your ass sniped um, while you're waiting for the survivor to eventually die from food poisoning. Now again we're going to wait. Now after we die we're going to respawn and there will be a very very clear indicator that this glitch has worked I'm going to show you in a bit. So yeah we're just, we're just going to wait for until the character dies and then we can continue with the glitch. Now this glitch works for every dino. Well, at least every dino that I've tested, which isn't much, I've tested the Reaper and the Giga, but I know it works for a few more. I'm going to show you a few dinos later after telling you how the glitch works. A few dinos that this glitch will potentially be very good. Um, the Giga is obviously one, but there are also quite a few other dinos that uh, without a character, is going to be way more powerful than with the character. So we're almost dead right now, and we're dead. Right. Catch you later. So if you guys remember, we put a sleeping bag right there. Now we're going to spawn on one of our sleeping bags. All right. Now. When you mount the Giga, you'll be in this very weird scene where you can see your name. I just want to press E again. And as you can see, my character has dismounted from the Giga. And I can still walk, right? I can still walk. Now I'm pressing E again. Nothing is working and I can still walk. Now my character actually isn't controlling the Giga anymore. My character has become absolutely useless. I don't need the character to control the Giga. If someone comes and snipe my character off the Giga right now, I will be st I will still be able to control the Giga. And just to show you, crashing into a wall, my character is right there and I'm still controlling the Giga. Absolutely no admin commands whatsoever. Controlling the Giga, character is right there. If you kill the character right now, um, which you can by the way, uh, I made two of those food or recipes or whatever. Um, so actually what you can do before mounting the Giga is you, you can take one of those um, poison burgers and you can eat it so your character will die and you will be controlling the Giga. This step isn't necessary but if you don't want your character to just be standing out there um, which could allow it to be captured you can just kill yourself and then you can transfer onto the Giga. As you can see I am just on the Giga with no player's mount whatsoever. Um, my character is still here by the way. So yeah I can say hi to my character. And yeah that is pretty much how the glitch works. So just to rerun everything, you need a poison burger, you need a noglin, stego, giga, poison yourself, um, use the noglin to control a stego while mounting the giga instantly, wait for the poison burger to kill you and then remount the giga, dismount and then have someone kill your character or just eat another poison burger. And that will allow you to transfer um, pretty much your consciousness, your soul onto this giga and then you can do anything with it. Again, um, this is a stego and I can attack it. See, this, this was a stego that um, I unclaimed, and yes, it's taking damage. I don't want to kill it right now, so I still need it, but as you can see, it still works. So yeah, uh, I'm basically the Giga. It's like play as Dino, but on a server that doesn't, that didn't mean for it to happen. Alright, now you have seen how the exploit works, or how, the, how, you, how to actually do the exploit, but how does it actually work and how does the server register the exploit? Does it register as a actual dino or does it register as a player mounted on a dino? So this is something we're gonna test. Now I'm going to place down two turrets. This one I will turn it on. I'm going to turn all of them on low so they don't shoot everything. This one I'm going to turn on, turn on um, only survivors and mounted creatures. And then this one I'm going to turn on only survivors. Actually, I'm going to turn on three turrets. Never mind. So that's something that we need to test. This one I'm going to turn on um, uh, only tame creatures. Um, yeah, only tame creatures. All right. So they're all on low. I'm just going to slap a tag gen back here. Let me give myself some element. Yep. Alright, turn everything on low. Um, again, make some ammo for them.
right? So they all have ammo and they all have, and they pretty much all have uh, power. Right, now I'm going to redo the exploit and see which turret actually shoots me because if all turrets shoot me, then we know that this exploit could potentially be used on some very, very broken dino that isn't meant to actually work on turrets that are survivors only. All right, we're back. Now, as you can see, I'm currently controlling a turtle without any players actually on it. Now, the, another thing to take note is I'm actually not draining any stamina. I'm full sprinting on a turtle, but it's actually not draining stamina. So it'll be interesting to see um, how it fares against turrets. But yeah, again, just for a quick recap, turrets on the right, survivors only, middle, survivors and mounted creatures, left, tame creatures only, right? So I'm walking in with a turtle. Um, these turrets are all in low settings, and let's see how they will react against a turtle. Now, as you can see, all three turrets actually shot the turtle. This means that you can actually run, even the survivors only turrets, mind you, you can actually run, you can actually run towards um, a base with a turtle, obviously using a very good saddle, a very high health turtle, and you can soak the entire base with a turtle. Now, turtle have insane resistance against, um, turtle have really high resistance against like, um, turrets. Now, obviously that's pretty common knowledge, but the problem is you normally get shot off a turtle because of um, no protection for the survivor. So this actually provides protection for the survivor. And yeah, um, just allows you to soak any base with a turtle. You can have your uh, tribe mate pick you up with a crab and throw you in, pick you up with a wyvern and drop you into a base. Um, with the turtle, again, all turrets will shoot you, even the survivors only turret. So this is a very good way of soaking survivors only turret. Now, obviously, this doesn't only have to be for soaking. Controlling a Giga allows you to sprint indefinitely since it doesn't use any stamina, and it allows you to chase players, and it just allows you to be on a Giga without being shot off. You can be on anything without being shot off. You can be on a Reaper, be on a Giga, be on a turtle, be on any soaker you want, be on a Golem, pretty much anything that you want. So yeah, um, this is just another very broken exploit that I came across. Um, I do believe it will get fixed soon. So yeah, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, I'm not sure if, if I think I told you guys, but I actually reported a few glitches to Wildcount and didn't get a response. So um, screw that. Back to video making. But anyways, that's about it. I have quite a few videos actually, or videos ideas actually planned for the future. A few involved mesh holes actually. But yeah. Um, been a bit lazy recently. I've actually been doing a bit of uh, university applications. So yeah, um, I hope I'll get some time, more time actually, to make videos, but not sure when, but hopefully soon. I'll see all legends in the next one. Peace out.